Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. In this episode we're going to be doing a trigger guard undercut and a double undercut. Now the reason I'm doing a trigger guard undercut on this firearm is because it is a short frame and my hands are pretty big so I just wanted to get a higher grip on the frame. So stay tuned and let's get started. Alright, so a few tools that we're going to use are sanding drums, a double cut carbide burr, a sanding dowel, a file, a rotary tool, and different grits of wet or dry sandpaper. All right, so first thing I'm gonna do is I am gonna use my coarse sanding drum and I'm gonna open up the trigger guard on the undercut section to get a higher grip on the frame. Now, remember this is a coarse uh, sanding drum so it does remove a lot of material. So you gotta be careful and take it slow because all you're trying to do is open up the channel to where your hand feels comfortable on the frame. Now, you'll see me checking the frame frequently to, for feel for the grip just because I'm trying to get my hand a little bit higher on the frame, but at the same time, uh, just remove enough material to, to achieve that without overdoing it. So, you'll see me checking it frequently and, and holding it and checking and just repeating the process until I get it to where I like. Once I get it to how I like, I basically begin the process of shaping it to where it becomes more aesthetically pleasing. So what I do next is I get an X-Acto knife or any sort of blade just to scrape off the slag that comes off while I'm shaping the, the polymer. Um, it's the best way to just remove any of that slag and, and clean up the surface. So next I'm using my double cut uh, burr to shape the polymer a little bit better this hogs away at the material pretty quick so you got to be very gentle with it and you got to be very careful because all you're really doing is shaping um, we're not really removing any material at this point we're just shaping it so it looks a little bit better so take your time go slow and achieve the look that you're after Alright, so next I'm getting a file to open up the channel for the double undercut and to do this I'm using the flat side of the file in combination with some 320 grit sandpaper. Uh, it's rough, um, but it does the job. Just take it slow, open up that second channel. Uh, this is more aesthetic than anything else for me. Um, I don't really texture the bottom of that because I don't like the feel of it, but I just I like the way it looks. So to round off the edges so it looks a little bit more finished and more done, I use a needle file, a round needle file, and I just clean up the edges so that way it's more straight and it has more of a curve to it so it can be more aesthetically pleasing. Alright, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to wet sand the frame just to smooth everything out so i'll be using 220 320 400 600 800 1000 and 1500 uh grit wet or dry sandpaper using a little container with water to keep everything lubricated as i go through the grits and smooth out the the frame now the first thing i do for the trigger guard is i use my wooden dowel to pretty much work that curve in and smooth everything out so it's more comfortable. Um, the smoother you get it, the better it's going to feel in your hand. So just take your time and smooth everything out, making sure to clean your sandpaper as you go. So that way you are actually achieving what you're trying to do.
So next I'm going to use some Brownells Aqua Release Agent. Uh, basically I use this to give the frame a little shine again because after you finish wet sanding the frame gets a little grayish. So, so I use some of the Release Agent which is basically what they use in the factory in order to release the polymer frames from the molds when they, inject it, they do the injection mold on them. Um, so some of this release agent is like a wax and it'll, it'll basically bring that factory sheen back to the frame. Well guys, I hope you liked this video and if you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button so you can keep up to date with all the videos that we release on the channel. Uh, for the next video, I'm going to be doing the texturing and I'm going to be teaching you how to do the layout for texturing and what tools you will be needing to be able to stipple your frame. Uh, all the tools that we use in this video, I listed down below. So if, you, if you're interested in any of the tools that we use, just hit the show more and uh, there'll be links there to everything that you will need in order to complete this job. I hope you guys like this video and I will see you next time.